Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have changed up the scenery, so I've actually moved from upstairs from the bedroom to downstairs in the living room. I just wanted to change up the scenery for the video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking and sharing my favourite fall products. It's been some time since I've actually sat down and shared with you guys what my favourite products are and today's video is going to be all about a number of different products from ranging from skincare, hair care to accessories and yeah basically things that I've been loving and using more so on a regular and daily basis. Yeah, so I do have a few full videos that I'm planning to share with you guys but in today's video like I said I'm going to be sharing my favourite full product. So without further ado let's get comfy gonna grab a cup of tea this season's all about the temperature shifting so keep yourselves a little warmer with a nice cup of tea tea just keeps me nice and warm and cozy so let's get started so the first product I want to share with you guys is this Garnier BB cream now I've totally been obsessed with this cream it's been on days where I feel like I don't want to wear any makeup or I want to wear like a less foundation look I've been picking this up and just using this now this is a tinted moisturizer and it works like one as well so it's just very moisturizing on the skin it gives me that very dewy feel on my skin glowy look and also at the same time it's got added vitamin C which is a total bonus and how I apply it is I just apply the moisturizing cream on my face and then just add a little bit of a concealer and a bit of a blush to give it a bit of a pop of color and that's it I'm ready to go so it's actually been my go-to product for some time now just continuously been using this I just feel like it just feels so light on the skin and yeah it gives me the days where I just don't feel like wearing a heavy look and if I do want to wear a little bit of a heavy look you can always mix this with a heavier foundation so the next product I want to talk about is another skin product and this again is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb. Just to let you guys know I'm not sponsored and I've not been gifted these products. I actually bought these products with my own money and it's things that I've actually been really really loving. The reason why I've loved this moisture bomb is because it's so soothing on the skin. So as we move from like the summer season to fall season I feel like my skin just gets a little drier and I feel like I need a little bit more moisturizing to my skin so I always add moisturizing mask to my routine I do love a good clay mask because it gives you that sort of very cleansed very you know detoxed skin but it does sometimes leave your skin very dry and I do like to use these moisture bombs this guy has a whole range of these shirt moisture bomb tissue masks and I personally like this one because it's super hydrating, it's glowing and reviving. It's got Sakura and Hyaluronic Acid in it. It is just so soothing. It gives it that moisturising feel and give you that very uplifted skin. So it kind of like takes away that dullness off your face. So the next product I want to talk about is this this eye perfect vitamin eye cream well serum I think so I'd class it as a skin product and yes it is so good it's got vitamin C like I said and it just removes that puffiness kind of eye bag look in the morning and it just and it's also very very hydrating so it just tightens up that area around the eye this product has really been helping make my eyes look and feel brighter in the mornings so when I've got that very kind of like sleepy puffy eyes it just gives me that instant lift and yeah it's supposed to be really good for dark circles um, I've not experienced with that but if you guys have and do try this because I've really been loving it so moving on to makeup I've had this palette which is the Zaviva Caramel Melange palette for some time now and I feel like every fall I pick up this palette every fall and I feel like I do it because I love the colours in this palette I think I've shared with this this palette with you guys before but I just wanted to show you guys again how much I love this palette and obviously the colours in it as well it has all the kind of autumnal colours 
it's got all the kind of like browns the nudes the orange golds and purple as well so it's really pigmented i'm actually wearing this palette on my eyes today i find the shades in this palette super super creamy and i feel like they just are so pigmented you only need a little bit and it just kind of just glides onto the eye and yeah i just love the colors in this palette it's something that i've picked up time and time again and i feel like like i said picking up every autumn if you guys like the eyeshadow colors and the eyeshadow look i've done today then please comment and let me know if you want me to do a look like this and yeah and moving on to the next makeup product i want to talk about lipsticks now i feel like for fall i always want to go for a darker lip so during the summer i always go for i love my nudes and that's without fail i love them all year round and i feel like in the summer i kind of go for like pinky nudes and kind of nudes that are lighter in shade Whereas in fall and in winter, I tend to go for sort of darker of nude. So I like more of like on the brown side. So I've gone back and I've picked up the, the lipstick from MAC. And that is the famous lipstick. So it's this MAC lipstick. Now I used to use this lipstick like so much. And then I stopped. And I feel like I've picked it up again because I really like the texture of the lipstick. I feel like it stays on for long and it is a beautiful colour. I've been mixing it up with a lot of colours. So I do like to mix this world up with things like, with colours like Royal Bit Teddy from MAC, from NYX Stick Range, the Liquid Suede, I think the shade Corset. I've mixed it up with lip glosses and um, it mixes in really well so yeah I've been experimenting and mixing up shades but I do like it very dark and very kind of like browny nude for the fall season so moving on from makeup I've actually been super super obsessed with a lot of different accessories and yes you might have guessed it one of those is headbands you can see that I'm wearing it today I have been wearing it throughout and you'll have seen it in a few of my Instagram photos I feel like during this season, the temperature drops, you get an occasional day where the temperature is cold or it's windy and you just don't want to do anything with your hair and you just want to keep your hair back and it's just perfect for that where you don't have to worry so much about styling, you can just sort of style it back with a headband or you can style it and just add the headband as an extra accessory like I do most days. And yeah, so I've picked up a whole range. This is just some of my range of headbands. I like the material ones. I like the pearl ones. You could glamour up your look by using different type of headbands for different occasions and then styling your hair up differently as well. Or if you are someone that wears a hijab, you can also wear this over your hijab as well because it'll just give you that extra... I don't know hold onto your hijab and at the same time it'll give you kind of more of a sassy more of a cool look because I feel like just adding a headband to your outfit or your look will just it will just bring out the outfit a lot more so I'm totally totally obsessed with headbands I just love them so another accessory that I've been loving and is a super favorite of mine it is the it is scrunchies. I have so many different colours, so many different shapes and sizes in these scrunchies. I feel like they give that very nostalgic 90s vibe so you can actually wear these to on a, on a high ponytail. You can wear it just like wearing your hair down. Um, it just keeps your hair off your face. For someone like me who's a curly girl, I feel like I use these for when I wash my hair and I sometimes just want to keep my curls defined i feel like these these scrunchies don't snag at my hair they don't break my hair i feel like i can tie them up and in the mornings when i wake up after if i've washed my hair and i haven't dried it it just leaves my curls really really defined without any frizz it's really it's just something i really like um i like adding it to the look just to sass up the outfit. If you are curly girls and a tip for you guys is you can wear these at night, just tie your hair up in a bun and then just leave it and then take it out during the day. It just gives you those very frizz free curls. So coming on to the last of my accessories, I absolutely love socks. Now socks are like a go-to for me in fall, winter, I love them. And I feel like you can really jazz up any kind of outfit with a funky pair of shops. A funky pair of socks. 
and I feel like I've got like a whole range so I bought these socks from Primark so I've got like these funky polka dot ones that you can wear just with trainers or I got these from Next which are like kind of like Disney style ones where you can sort of kind of wear them over tights and then just wear them with like trainers, converses or even boots just so that you can see a bit of the sock showing because it's kind of funky and it looks cool and I also like those kind of like see-through pop socks that you can wear but they are patterned so yeah I like I like jazzing up my outfits with few funky accessories and socks are perfect because they just keep your feet warm but also look really good as well depending on what funky socks that you pair it up with or what outfit you pair it up with as well socks are my absolute craze at the moment and yeah I love styling my outfits up with different socks like I mentioned I have curly hair and obviously there's days and times where my hair just feels super frizzy they feel dry and as the temperature shifts again it changes your curl pattern changes the way your hair feels and the products that you need to use as well you might have seen this on my Instagram if you follow me but if you haven't I'm just going to share this with you here as well so I've tried again a few products from the Garnier range of hair masks and my ultimate favourite has to be this hair food papaya hair mask. Now I feel like this hair mask is just so nourishing. It just felt like my hair was like when it was feeling really super dry. I've had it, if you've seen my previous video then you'll have known that I went through a hair bleaching process where I lightened my hair, I didn't like it and then I went to back to dark so obviously that's a whole process that I've had to follow on my hair so taking extra care of my hair currently is really really important to me so I have been using and experimenting with a lot of different hair masks and I used the range from Garnier again just to see which one I liked because I do like Garnier products um, like I said I'm not sponsored so just so you guys know I did buy this with my own money and I did test it all out and out of all the masks that I tried I liked this one the best now I feel like I use this hair mask as a conditioner so I use it as a conditioner on its own and just sort of leave it in my hair for like 5 to 10 minutes sometimes I even leave it in here for 20 minutes and then wash it out and sometimes I even leave it as a leave-in conditioner because you can do with this. It's not super greasy and it doesn't make your hair drop. So I've been using it in different ways, um, experimenting with it. And I feel like I like it best when I use it as a hair mask. So if I tend to wash my hair, I will then condition it and then I will leave this in my hair for like about 15 minutes and while I finish in the shower and then I just sort of wash it all off. That's how I feel like I've been using it and it's left my hair very frizz free. Like it does define my curls but not as much as I'd like it to. However, it does give me that very soft hair. It is a really, really good mask and it's got a vegan formula. So if you guys are prefer that then that's obviously good it's got a lot of it comes with papaya and amla so it's a three-in-one hair mask and it's currently supposed to be for damaged hair so the good thing about this is that it's vegan it has 96 biogradable formula it's dermatologically tested it's got plant oils and it's got no silicones for a natural feel so obviously silicones and sulfates are something that i stay away from and because I feel like they're just extra chemicals that my hair does not need especially like I said when I bleach my hair I'm kind of moving away from any kind of chemically processed procedure and any kind of any kind of chemical as well so I'm kind of like keeping my hair natural I've not straightened my hair since I actually had my hair dyed back again avoiding any kind of heat so I'll let you guys know how I get on with that in another video but for now this is something I've been using and loving Another thing I really really love is teas. I love trying a different types of teas and you might have seen again on my Instagram if you follow me or my Snapchat if you follow me that I love trying out lots of different versions of teas. So I like things like bubble tea, I like things like chai lattes, I like yeah so I like sort of like Asian teas. I like a lot of different teas. So what I've been experimenting and one of the teas that I want to share with you guys that I feel is so good 
for this fall and it just gives you that very uplifting very warm feeling especially if you're feeling cold or you feel like you want to keep your immune system protected is this tea here so this tea here so again i've tried out a few range from the puka range but i really like this three ginger organic warming swirl of ginger galangagal and golden turmeric like it's actually got really good properties in there so obviously ginger is really good for you generally so if you've got colds and flus and things like that with all this situation with obviously you know everything else that's going around it is really really good for that in general and it's very kind of like a very spicy kind of tea and i can really say that it's uh, it's a really tasty tea it's naturally caffeine free and it's sourced 100 percent organically as well below let me know if you guys are a tea lover or coffee lover and what type, what sort of teas you've tried so that I can try those as well. Lastly, who doesn't love candles? Now, again, being the fact that it's a fall season and it comes up to the fact that it gets dark quicker and I like being cozied up in my room, I like to have bedroom candles, I like to have kitchen candles, I just like lots of different smelling candles. Um, you might have seen this in my bedroom when I showed you a tour. It's this Yankee candle so I love Yankee candles I feel like Yankee candles have a very strong smell I do like picking up lots of different candles I like home scents um, and I like going in there just to pick up lots of different types of candles this candle is particularly uh, called a it's a frosty winter morning candle it smells very morning fresh kind of smell like fresh linen fresh cotton that type of smell and I really like those type of smells and I feel like these candles like last forever as well and you can see one that's burning behind me that's a really nice I think more of a, a cotton fresh candle as well so I kind of like those smells I do feel like I want to pick a few more berry ones up because I feel like they're very seasonal but these are the two candles that I picked up and I also picked up a few for the car for the car and I picked up this kind of sparkling cinnamon which is a perfect smell for like fall season like i said i love chai so cinnamon chai that sort of smell is really nice and this one's called turquoise sky and it's another car scent as well you just add it onto your um i think it's where the radiator is so it's kind of and it smells very again fresh and cotton it's giving me that very nice i don't know how to describe it but it's just very nice very fresh like a like like new new clothes that have just been washed basically i like that smell so that was my full favorites do let me know which of those products was your favorite and what you've been loving most for this fall season i can't wait to share with you guys the other videos that i've got planned for fall and hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time i'll see you soon